Hey everyone, Tech Elementary here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix iOS 26 not showing up in your setting. So let's get started. First thing is go ahead and try to see if you see it in your setting by going to your setting, general, software update. Now you might see iOS 18 update, but if you look at the very bottom, this is where it's going to say upgrade to iOS 26. Simply click on it and you should see it. Now let's say you don't see this. First thing you want to verify is that your phone is compatible for iOS 26. So Apple lists all the compatible devices. It starts from iPhone 11 all the way to the iPhone 17, of course, the new ones. And then the iPhone SE second generation and the third generation are also compatible. So you have to have a compatible device. Now, if you have a compatible device, the next thing you wanna go ahead and do is make sure you have a good, strong internet connection. Wi-Fi is gonna work the best to get it. Cellular data sometimes doesn't show that up. And then the other thing you also want to do in your setting here is that if you have any profiles, so in your setting, general, if you have anything, for example, a device profile showing up, you need to go ahead and remove the profile, maybe a beta profile. And you also want to disconnect, turn off any BPN. If you have any BPN, that can also interfere with not showing up the iOS 26 update. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you want to go ahead and do is make sure in your setting, you go to general, iPhone storage. You want to make sure that you have enough storage available. iOS 26 can be up to 10 gigs of storage. So if you don't have it, here it will show you how much storage you're using out of how many you have. You need to make sure you have at least 10, I would say even 15 gigs. So if you need to delete some stuff, you can delete apps that you don't use or you can delete photos and videos that take up a lot of space on your device. Now, along with that, the next thing you wanna go ahead and check out is going back from the main settings and I go to general, software update. First thing is go ahead and turn off beta if you have beta on. Next thing is the automatic updates. You wanna go ahead and turn all three of them on as well so that it can actually pick up the update. Now, another thing you wanna do is if you're still having issues not seeing the update in your settings, Go to general and then date and time. Make sure the date and time here matches your local time. If the date and time does not match, you can turn this off, set it manually, make sure the date and the time in the zone is correct. Ideally, this should be automatically picked up, but sometimes it's not, especially if you're traveling. Now, other thing you want to go ahead and do is make sure your phone is charged at least 50% or more if it's not connected to a charger. Sometimes if the battery is low, power mode, it might not see or be able to download that update. Now, another thing you want to go ahead and do is simply go ahead and uh, do this method. You're going to quickly press and leave volume up, volume down, and then hold down the side button. So I'll do volume up, volume down, and then hold down the side button, basically forcing the phone to completely shut down and then reload the code so that if there's an issue with the software, currently it'll go ahead and fix it. As you can see here, I'm holding down the side button I let go once you see the Apple logo, basically reloading the code and then go ahead and try again one more time to see if you are able to get it. Now while following this step should help you go ahead and see iOS 26 available sometimes because it is a new update in an area maybe there are a lot of devices currently updating so you might have to wait a few hours but you should be able to come back in the settings general soft update and should be able to see iOS 26 update as long as you have all the step as we mentioned. So that's how you can do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. We'll see you guys next time.